hey guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's video of dash tip pro in this video i talk about how you can edit one particular column based off of a custom measure or a calculated value here i have opened tableau dashboard and in this tableau dashboard i have imported sales store data and within the sales store data i have created two custom calculated uh, values one is calculating the return rate which is in other words just simply return divided by sales this is coming from a count of returns divided by total sales following that i have also calculated something called as color condition which we'll talk about little later so here if i go by this calculation uh, i would first like to create a table so here i want to visualize a table in which i have three columns out of which the first column which is the return rate will have this red yellow green conditions applied to it uh, based on the calculated value that I just showed you and the other two columns will not have any conditions and this is a color coding condition driven off of a calculated value and the other two columns are not getting any condition formatting at all in Tableau. This is somewhat of a tricky way to approach this. There, there is no direct way of doing it in Tableau as of now. So when I try to create this table, add uh, dummy uh, 1 and add 0, 1 and 0 just change it to max and here also i change it to max so that it, it its own sum doesn't affect the values which i'm going to pass in here now I just click on this and click on dual access i have created dual access for this i just try to replicate this by holding on the keyboard if you have mac you can hold on to command and then drag it and it will just drag that and replicate and then drag that and replicate and then you can do it again for dual access right so i have added the uh so I talked about three axis, uh, three columns that I wanted to add, right? So for each column, I want to add six of these, like one zero one zero one zero. So and for each pair of one zero will be a dual axis for itself. So uh, here I have done for two. Now let's do for the third one. So now we have these three max zero max zero max zero Now I would just also want to have the values coming in instead of these dots. In order of what you see here the one zero one zero one zero that's the order in which this has been placed so in the first one i would first like to place the conditional color coding format Condition drag it onto the first max one's me measure name which has the color beside it right so this color beside it will have that and now i would also like to place it bifurcated by customer name so i'll add customer name in rows so now i see it taking shape uh, i would also quickly just edit access uh, name the first one as return rate and uh, i'll go to tick marks i'll click on none and none the same thing i'll repeat for these two and once I've done that, I can just reduce the uh, width to this much so that all of those seem uniform. Now, under this, you would like to not have these dots and you would like to have condition formatting only for return rate and not this, these two. For that, now I'll move to the next uh, one, which is this one. So either you can't understand from here, then you can click on this one. So the first pair is the first column. The first column, second thing you need to click and then here it will get highlighted here over the under the mark section here and then here you want to just add in your uh, return rate value which you're calculating under the text label and you'll just remove the measures altogether so you just want to have text label here right and in the first one when we go back you just want to have square in the size you'll just increase that square size to full under the max this automatic is also giving us an issue so I'll just paste it as text here. So the first one has square and the second one has text as type with text in the label. Just format this to uh, percentage. Now you see that I have percentage uh, here. And now I'll just sort it by uh, on return rate aggregated and it will sort by that. So now I have sorted by return rate and you can see that uh, anything above that percentage has red and then yellow and then green but in all uh, cases it will not be red yellow green always and to 
edit the color itself sometimes you'll see some other color for some other value in that case you just need to go back to the max one where you're defining the colors for the color uh, condition here you'll click on edit colors and you'll see green text any any text can be defined as per the calculated value that you were having and in that data item you can just select the data item and then select the color that you want to allocate that data item in this case i'm just putting as red yellow green but in your uh, case and scenario and what you want to represent and present to anyone you can use any other color in this field you can also use uh, a dimension field coming here instead of you know uh, a, a calculated sum aggregated value field so that way also you can allocate colors i would like to have sales and return numbers without any of these formatting in order to do, do this it's pretty similar in the second two pairs i will not be adding those uh, color code condition and i will just plainly add that and for the first pair which is the first half of the pair i'll just add polygon so it is polygon and under that i am having polygon doesn't have anything so i'll just remove that and under this i am having returns I'm putting returns here so this become returns and the first part i think dot capture this is actually coming as automatic i need to change it to text text actually so now this is text okay it's again doing something select i'll select text over here so now i can see sales are listed returns are listed and they are sorted by return rate the return rate has been conditionally formatted and that conditional formatting is not by any legend or value uh, by default as a dimension value but it's coming from a calculated measure and in that calculated measure i have passed selected dimensions based on a condition of if else i can now design this table anyway i can go to the dashboard right now I can add the sheet over here and i will see like you know it, it looks like a table it has this condition formatting one of one of the columns and i have sorted by that and it is following that norm so that was it about today's video and if you have any other questions please do comment below and if you want me to do any other kind of uh, tutorial for you or if you want me to uh, cover something else within this topic you can comment and i will try to co come back to those as soon as possible also do not forget to drop in a subscribe bye bye